welcome to our new video tutorial. Today we would like to show you how to make Amelia booking form in a pop-up. And uh, for this we will need the one uh, premium plugin and that's Elementor page builder. Uh, and with uh, it and Amelia you can configure it uh, so when someone clicks on a button uh, the Amelia uh, booking form pops up. Alexander will show us how to do so in a second. Okay, mm, we have Elementor integration covered on our documentation page, so you can take a look there, but adding it is pretty simple. You need to have services in Amelia, you need to have Elementor and Elementor Pro uh, installed because uh, pop-ups can only be used with Elementor Pro. So, we have Amelia, we have uh, a custom page, so we need to add that pop-up first. So under templates pop-ups, we add a new pop-up. So pop-up name will be Amelia pop-up. Create the template and it's going to open up in an Elementor page. So in here, uh, we can actually skip uh, the library. We don't need that. So in here, we need to add a shortcode widget. At the moment, it only works with the shortcode. Using Amelia's uh, widgets is not gonna open up the pop-up. So in here, we need to manually type Amelia booking and add a trigger, which can be Amelia custom ID. We will add this to the button later. So we'll just copy this ID and we publish it, save and close. Um, in here under settings, we need to go to advanced and enable this, prevent closing on overlay. So we update it again. We can again skip all this, just save and close. And now on the page, we need to add the button that will actually open up that pop-up. So edit with Elementor and we add a new widget, which will be a button. Okay, so here it is. We drag the button right here. Here we paste the button ID that we copied. Mm -hmm. And under dynamic tags, we choose pop-up. And when we click on it, we can actually choose the pop-up that we've created. So in here, Amelia pop-up template. And that is pretty much it. Let me just take a look at the page. So this should now be opening up when we click on this button right here. And here it is. So we can actually choose the services. The services are added as our uh, licenses. So for example, basic lifetime, we can click on continue. Um, choose the date and complete the booking as if uh, you're an actual customer. Would that work for other booking forms? Events, um, booking forms, catalog? Such? Yes, of course, all Amelia's uh, booking forms are covered and they can all be used in here as long as you add this trigger. So trigger is actually a manual trigger to load Amelia when you click on the button. Mm -hmm. uh, Elementor has a lot of options, so you can style the button as you want, you can move it around, you can change uh, its effects, everything, you know, just bounce in when it loads. Uh, on hover it can, it can I don't know, pulse or... Mm -hmm. it, Elementor offers a lot of settings, so for example we can make it uh, be on the, in the center of the page, uh, be large or extra large and uh, just update it and you will see it on the front end page when you refresh it. Great. That's basically it. Okay. I mean, it's not that complex, but if you guys need any help, you can always reach out to us. Thank you guys. Okay, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Take see care. See you next time. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.